Hey guys, how you guys doing? It's August 27, 2019. Coming to you from a very comfortable hotel bed. Uh, got some information uh, that I thought you guys should uh, be aware of. All right. Uh, first off, India, Pakistan. A update on that whole situation. Apparently, Pakistan is now now threatening uh, to shut off uh, air and land travel uh, from India into uh, Afghanistan when it comes to the land routes uh, and then their airspace completely. Um, now this is something that's happened in the past. It's something that they have threatened in the past, all right? Uh, something we may see come to fruition in the coming days and weeks. It seems like the Prime Minister of Pakistan, uh, he currently is not in the you know best of best of uh, faith when it comes to the Pakistani population. Um, they believe uh, that he has given up on Kashmir. Um, you know, when Article 370 was revoked by the Indian government, a lot of Pakistanis were ready to go to war with India over such actions, all right? Um, so currently it looks like he's uh, acting weak, uh, and so something has to be done. Uh, the foreign minister of Pakistan said that Pakistan is ready to go to war with India if need be. Uh, there was apparently unprovoked firing, ceasefire violations, depending on what side you fall on. If you fall on the Indian side, uh, Pakistan uh, provoked this. If you fall on the Pakistani side, the Indians provoked this. All right, uh, But civilians have been killed on the Pakistani side. That can, that can be confirmed. All right? Uh, so that situation is just messy. Like I said, it can turn hot um, any minute. Uh, Indian media putting out that a uh, Indian naval officer uh, stated that there was an on underwater threat, terrorist threat, uh, towards the Indian Navy. All right. See, this is what's happening. Okay. Uh, we're hearing a lot of rumors about terrorist activity in uh, Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, now around the coastline with the Indian Navy. Uh, and then on the opposite side, Pakistan's been stating, including their prime minister, you know, uh, that uh, India is going to uh, have some sort of false flag come about uh, that will allow them to go into Pakistani occupied Kashmir. All right. In previous videos, I've had people comment saying, hey, don't call it Pakistani occupied Kashmir. Don't call it Indian occupied Kashmir. Kashmir is just Kashmir. All right. And I get that. I understand that Kashmiris, they want their uh, they want their sovereign state back. They want their statehood. All right. They want their identity back. OK, uh, I call it that Pakistani occupied Kashmir, Indian occupied Kashmir, uh, because that's uh, the world at large. That's what we know it as. OK, uh, so we need to watch this situation. India is saying that a, a false flag is to come about. Um, India is saying that's ridiculous. It's just Pakistani propaganda and that Pakistan is to blame for all the clashes along the LOC. All right. We need to watch this situation as it unfolds. Um, when it comes to Israel and everything that's going on between them and Hezbollah and Syria, mix in a little Hamas, all right, and of course Iran, um, Hezbollah uh, has been quoted as stating that they will have a calculated response to the strikes within Lebanon, all right, the Lebanese uh, government just had a national security meeting uh, early this morning, all right, they said that they reserve the right to defend themselves, um, now, officials of Hezbollah are quoted as saying that they will have a calculated, calculated strike into Israel, uh, but they don't want war, all right? So they want to they wanna, uh, not seem too weak, but they don't want a strong enough response that they believe that Israel is willing to go to war over it, okay? So we're going to have to watch that and see how that goes. Um, the Egyptian mediation team that usually talks between uh, Gaza, Hamas, and uh, Israel... Uh, they have warned Hamas. Apparently, they're not very happy about the rocket uh, firing that's been going on. Okay, Every couple days, we see one, two, three rockets being fired into southern Israel. Um, and just so you understand the geographical you know, aspect of it, uh, northern Israel borders Le Lebanon. That's where Hezbollah operates. All right? Southern Israel uh, borders Gaza. That's where Hamas 
operates, okay? Just so you understand the difference in what we're talking about. You probably already do, but those who don't, I'm letting you know. Um, so the Egyptian mediation team is warning Hamas that if conflict does break out between Israel and Hezbollah, Israel and Lebanon, uh, that they are warning they will no longer negotiate and provide dialogue between the two countries if Hamas decides to join Hezbollah. And a lot of uh, intel is pointing towards if this war does occur, if a conflict does ensue between Israel and Hezbollah, that Hamas would join in. All right. Um, now, I've, I've heard a lot of people, including Israeli News Live, talk about how Israel's getting ready for a direct strike into Iran. Apparently, Intel uh, points to that fact. Okay, And I do believe that that could be the case. I, like I've stated for a couple months now, I think that is, if there was a strike in Iran, Israel's more likely to do it than the United States of America, especially with Trump's foreign policy. All right. These are two very serious situations that we need to continue to watch. Um, of course, uh, there's a bunch of other things going on in the news, but those are the two main things that I've been researching, two main things I've been keeping my eyes on. Uh, we're going to have to continue to watch that oil tanker because currently we don't know where the hell it's going, but we know that the U.S. does not want it to deliver its oil to Syria. It's uh, getting closer day by day to Syria, so we need to watch that uh, as well. Uh, if any more information about any of this comes out, I'll talk to you guys about. We'll, t we'll discuss it, all right? Uh, but as of right now, that's all I've got. All right, grab a beer, say a few prayers, and as always, keep your eyes to the skies. God bless.